Welcome to the Stealth Channel. In today's video we will examine the Bell 360 Invictus, Bell Helicopter's entry in the US Army's Future Attack Reconnaissance Aircraft, or FARA competition. The Bell 360 Invictus came about as a response to the United States Army's Future Attack Reconnaissance Aircraft, or FARA, program which sought to develop a successor for the Bell OH-58D Kiowa Warrior Scout Helicopter which was retired in 2014. The FARA program was initiated in 2018, and aimed to succeed where three previous cancelled programs had failed. The first failed program was the Light Helicopter Experimental, or LHX program which ran from 1982 through 2004, and resulted in the stealthy Boeing Sikorsky RAH-66 Comanche. Before it was able to enter production, the Comanche was cancelled in 2004 due to budgetary considerations. The second failed program was the Armed Reconnaissance Helicopter, which ran from 2004 through 2006, and resulted in the Bell ARH-70 Arapaho. This program was cancelled in 2008 due to cost overruns. The third failed program was the Armed Aerial Scout, or AAS, program which evaluated commercial off-the-shelf designs. Five designs were evaluated in 2012. These five designs were the Bell OH-58F Block II, the Boeing AH-6I, the Eurocopter AAS-72X-X+, the McDonnell Douglas MD-540F, and the Augusta Westland AW-169. The AAS program was cancelled in 2013 due to sequestration cuts. Design contracts for FARA candidates were awarded in April 2019 to five manufacturers, AVX Aircraft, in partnership with L3 Harris Technologies, Bell Helicopter, Boeing, Karam Aircraft, and Sikorsky Aircraft. In March 2020, the designs from Bell and Sikorsky were selected to proceed to Phase 2 of the competition. This phase will end with a government flight test evaluation no later than the fall of 2023. Selection of a design for production is scheduled for 2028, but may occur sooner. The two competing designs are the Bell 360 Invictus and the Sikorsky Raider X. The Bell 360 Invictus is based on technology from the Bell 525 Relentless. Scott C. Donnelly, CEO of Textron, has said in April 2019 that the 360 will be based on the 525. The 360 and 525 will share an articulated rotor system. However, the 360 will only seat two, a pilot and gunner, and will use a single engine with a four-blade rotor. This is in contrast to the 525 which uses twin engines with a five-blade rotor and has a 19-passenger capacity. Bell has since announced it is developing the 360 with Collins Aerospace. The Bell 360 Invictus design was unveiled on October 1, 2019, showing a two-seat tandem cockpit design. It has a nose-mounted sensor pod for sighting optics and a laser designator that was above a chin-mounted 20mm gun turret. The helicopter has mid-mounted stub wings below the shrouded rotor hub that house four 40-foot or 12-meter diameter rotor blades. The rotor diameter is dictated by U.S. Army requirements, as the rotorcraft must fit between buildings on future battlefields. The helicopter also has an active horizontal stabilizer and a tilted and shrouded tail rotor reminiscent of the one seen on the Boeing Sikorsky RAH-66 Comanche. Missiles are mounted primarily in a pair of internal weapons bays. Additional weapons can be carried on optional wing pylons that can be mounted on the stub wings when stealth is not a factor in the mission. Its main engine will be a single General Electric T901 turboshaft engine, with supplemental power from a Pratt and Whitney PW207D1 turboshaft engine. The U.S. Army requirement calls for a cruising speed in excess of 180 knots, or 330 km per hour, and the Bell 360 Invictus is intended to meet this. The 525's rotor system has been tested to exceed 200 knots, or 370 km per hour. The stub wings are intended to provide lift equivalent to approximately 50% of the weight of the aircraft at moderate to high speed. Combat radius will be 135 nautical miles, or 250 kilometers, with at least 90 minutes time on station. The 360 will also use fly-by-wire control. Bell unveiled a full-scale mock-up of the Bell 360 Invictus at the Association of the United States Army Annual Show in October 2019. We are eagerly looking forward to the forthcoming flight test evaluation phase of the FARA program. We are excited to see what the Bell 360 Invictus and its competitor, the Sikorsky Raider X, have to offer. May the best helicopter win. 
I will endeavor to upload a new video each week so make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell to know when I have uploaded a new video. I hope you will enjoy this content and continue to come back for more.